modern power tools, it is really so easy to break almost any bike lock these days. So we wanted to develop a meaner bicycle security system. Pulp Fiction style. Oh, I wish I could have caught him doing it. I'd have given anything to catch that asshole doing it. It'd have been worth him doing it, just so I could have caught him doing what it. What a fuck. So we developed some quick prototypes to test out some features. And right off the bat, two that didn't work so well, and one that did work. Well, not anymore. We put it in the stem to start with our first prototype, which is a totally vulnerable spot. Um, you would never do that in production, but it was the easiest way to make the prototype with cables running out to the grips and uh, easy thing to test and activate. You would never do that in real production. But uh, also you can see those extra wires on the grips. Nobody really wants that. Um, but it was for a feature that we thought was kind of fun and that uh, some people had brought up on one of our other videos. It's actually an electric shock. So when the bike moves past your sensitivity settings, a current gets sent from the stem to the hand grips and delivers a mild electric shock to the bike thief. I thought it was funny, I liked it, but um, you know, when you have a bike that expensive, you really don't want more cables. And you certainly don't want to have to use a custom stem. The whole package has to fit on a standard bike and this one just uh, didn't. Um, fun thing, and, and you know, I think everybody's seen those YouTube videos where the people are shocking bike thief pranks. Um, this is similar, but we actually got the idea from a game called Lightning Reaction. A uh, shocking game that's pretty fun. Um, great drinking game if you're of age and into that sort of thing. Punk Shocker GTS comes in drop bar and mountain bike versions and modern threadless headset. Specs are below. So the shock was kind of a bust. The other feature that we thought was pretty fun uh, was a Bluetooth voice alarm. So when a thief moves your bike again past whatever settings you have, um, you can shut whatever threat you want at them. So, you know. Hey, bike thief, I'm across the street with a baseball bat and I'm coming for you, that type of thing. What, whatever you want to say. Anything you've ever wanted to say to a bike thief, you could say uh, while you weren't there. And of course, the GPS tracking would let you know it's there. However, to get a speaker loud enough to use a voice, act, a voice alarm in you know densely populated areas, it really the speaker just had to be too big. And, and you can get a much louder alarm that's just like a buzzer or a loud alarm sound in a much smaller space. system is now connected with your phone and will alert you to any attempt to steal the bike or tamper with the system in any way. So if a thief moves your bike past the sensitivity settings, the alarm goes off and you get a text. Now that's pretty standard for GPS tracking. That's not exactly new. But what is kind of different is the biker gang feature. You can enlist the help of other cyclists or your security guard, anyone with a phone. So if you run into other bikers, anyone you trust, you can add them to your biker gang so that when your bike is being moved or being stolen, you can enlist the help of anyone that shares the app with you, whether it's other cyclists and you're in their network, you're in, you're in their network, they're in your network, um, or your security guard. Anyone you trust with a phone can use the app and they don't have to purchase anything. So you can build up a gang, a gaggle of cyclists that can't wait to stop a bike thief because you know, for I think a lot of cyclists, it's kind of a cathartic thing and everybody's kind of wanted that revenge of these bike thieves that just come and go. Again, the Pulp Fiction thing. Um, now you can do it. Um, of course, there's concerns with liability and all that kind of stuff. Maybe some thieves are going to get beat up. Uh, interested to see. So, of course, this is something that we can't just develop one prototype and hope for the best. we got to develop like 100 and test them over a course of a summer, um, which is what we plan to do.